Hi guys, it's been a while I haven't visited Shenzhen's second-hand and refurbished smartphone market. Today we are going to explore the market and find the best deal for iPhone 12 mini. This market is all about Apple products, iPhones, Apple Watches and iPads. Here you can find everything from a brand new phone to second-hand or refurbished. Today I am looking for a brand new or second-hand iPhone 12 mini with the least activated days. This is a blue iPhone 12 mini and it's refurbished. For this one the seller wants about 530 US dollars. The market is huge so we have to keep looking. All the latest iPhones are sold here, so I spotted an iPhone 12. This red iPhone 12 is sold for 600 US dollars, which makes it very close to the price of the iPhone 12 mini. This is actually one of the reasons why the iPhone 12 mini is the worst selling iPhone in China. The price is too close. And guys, finally I found what I was looking for, a black iPhone 12 mini. It's a second hand device and it's only been activated for a week, which means it has a whole year of warranty. I paid 500 bucks for it, which is a pretty good deal. Now, as always, we have to buy a box with accessories, so let's go. As I said, this market is huge and it has its own section for iPads. Every model is available here. I have bought iPads from here before, but I think I have to do it again in the near future, as there are some pretty good deals. I went to one of the many shops for accessories. Here you can buy a box with cables and chargers, everything you need. I got an original second hand box and charging cable for about 12 bucks. And of course you can also find a lot of AirPods Pro and we are done here. Let's go to test the iPhone 12 mini. Here we go, the long requested 12 mini. First we will do a fast unboxing and later we will test the phone with an Tutu benchmark and compare it with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And last we will make a game test. I bought an original box for iPhone 12 mini, so inside we have everything that comes with it, which is not much, all the manual with a single Apple sticker and one charging cable. Apple shrunk the box so much so there is no room for a charger or earphones. I always test my accessories to be sure they are original and here is a test for the cable which shows 100% original components. And here is the phone itself, this time I decided to get the black one, I think it makes the phone to look even smaller. This is a brand new phone, it's been activated only for a week, there is no single scratch on it, everything looks amazing, as if it has now come out of the box. To get an idea how small is the iPhone 12 mini, here is a comparison with one of the smallest Android phones, the Essential PH1. Unfortunately, we never saw the second version of this phone. Now we can start the phone and complete the setup. I am using my other iPhone to speed up the process. The installation as new iPhone is quite fast, I don't see any difference in the time compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Fast setup of the Face ID and we are almost done. Everything went fast and smooth as it should be, the phone now is ready to use. The display of the iPhone 12 mini looks very bright, maybe because it's smaller it gives me a sense that is brighter than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And here is a comparison with the 12 Pro Max, the difference in size is huge, you have to hold both phones to realize how small the 12 mini really is. This is probably one of the best phones to use with one hand, I almost forgot what it feels like, the phones are getting bigger with every year. Now we can start with the testing, the first will be the wireless charging, here is a test with my wireless power bank. 
and everything works just fine. I downloaded the Antutu benchmark. Now we can run the test and see what score we will get. The iPhone 12 mini even though is a mini, its specs are pretty big. It features the same CPU as the 12 Pro Max, the A14 Bionic. There is a difference in the RAM, the mini comes only with 4 gigs, but as we know the iPhones are well optimized. And here you can see the final result, I have to mention that the mini runs the latest iOS at the moment, and the score is really impressive. Actually, it's almost the same as 12 Pro Max, so there are no compromises in this mini beast. When it comes to the camera, the 12 mini has dual camera system. There are two 12 megapixel cameras, one ultra wide and one wide. With these cameras, we can get up to 2x optical zoom and 5x digital zoom. If you want to see pictures taken with the phones I review, you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will also make a comparison with the Beast camera of the 12 Pro Max, so it will be interesting to see if there is a huge difference. I have downloaded a couple of games, but today we will test only one game. In the next video I will try to play PUBG or other heavy games, to see how the 12 mini will hold on. For now I can say that there is almost no difference with the 12 Pro Max when it comes to speed, however the smaller display makes a huge difference. I don't think 12 mini is a good choice for gaming, but it's good to know that you can still play every game you throw to it. By the way, I have no idea what is this game, so if someone recognizes it, you can leave a comment. Here comes the boss, let's finish it. So guys, let me know in the comments, do you think it's worth buying the 12 mini? For me this is a strange phone, it's priced very close to the iPhone 12. In fact, I see no reason for anyone to buy this phone, except if you really really want phone with such a small display. Yes, it's true, it's very compact, but we have to think also about the battery life. And with such a small size phone, we can't expect a great battery life. I will test the battery in the coming days and will let you know how it holds in my next video. In the next video, we will test some pretty cool iPhone 12 mini accessories. Until then, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Don't be shy or your phone display will shrink to 1 inch. Stay cool and I will see you soon.